please stop rubbing me. Please, please go away. Hey, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Bowie, stop. There's no treats. There's literally no more treats. You're hurting me. Get off me, you fatty. Why, hello there. Welcome to my mom's living room. So if you've been semi-involved in the beauty community within the past like year, year and a half, you might have seen those tags like, my child does my voiceover. My kid does my makeup. For me, obviously, I don't have kids. I can barely keep myself alive. But what I do have is the next best thing. Both of you are good girls. Ow, ow, ow. So today, I thought it would be kind of a fun video, you know, kind of zany, to let my dogs pick out whatever art supplies they want, and with whatever color, style, whatever they pick, I will draw them with that. So without further ado, uh, let's meet our contestants. So first up in the game, we have Izzy. Besides being the smartest dog, she is also the alpha dog. Good girl. Then we got Bowie. <laughs> Bowie has always had a little bit of an extra weight problem. You know, she likes her treats a little bit too much. And poor Bowie is constantly getting outsmarted by Izzy. Okay, now that you've met Dummy 1 and Dummy 2, uh, let's start the picking, shall we? So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to break it down into categories. So what I'm going to have to do is lay down different sheets of paper. And on those different sheets, every single one is going to have like the different option on there. And then from there, I'm going to fold the papers in half, put a treat on them. I'm going to let the dog in one at a time. And whichever one they sniff at first will be the one that I pick. So category one will be what is the medium that I'm going to use. For this category, I figured I would do two simple ones. So the first one will be obviously my fave, colored pencils. The second one, which is a second favorite, which I haven't done in a very long time on this channel, is charcoal. And then lastly, for the curveball, is a medium I never ever ever use, and that is acrylic. Now Izzy and Bowie, they're always with each other. They're either hanging out in the backyard, sleeping, doing whatever, dog stuff. And trying to get them in two separate rooms was a disaster. Izzy, go eat the treats. Go eat the treats. Okay, we have a winner. <laughs> we have a winner. So, the very first medium that we are going to use today will be charcoal. The second category is like, what paper slash canvas am I going to use? Our options include toned gray paper, some crappy printer paper that I found lying around, and lastly, some watercolor paper. I figure for this round, we'll let the ferocious and vicious Bowie have a turn. Wait, come on. Come on, Bowie. Eat your treats. Well, that was fast. She does not hesitate when it comes to treats, people. Um, and she picked the toned gray paper. Oh, sorry, we have a minor holdup. Uh, they want to go outside. Go, go. Don't take the toy. And the last thing is like, what style am I going to try to do this in? We'll keep it simple. You know, classic realism for option one. The second one is something I would like to do more often, and that, that is illustration. And hey, lastly, why not both? At this point, Izzy already knows what's up. And the one that she ended up picking was literally the one I did not want her to pick, which was realism. Because I, I do it so often on my channel, I was like, ugh. Okay, Izzy. Out of all the picks that we could have had, you got the most boring ones. Please explain yourself. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you. Oh, hey. Voice over Ray here. So today, I'm just going to be drawing Izzy. 
because it was an actual challenge trying to get these dogs to hold still for two seconds. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the crap I'm talking about. <laughs> but I did manage to take a few good photos, including this one, which I will be drawing today with the selected supplies. And yeah, I'm just gonna be honest here, I've literally never <laughs> have ever spent time actually drawing any kind of fur. And I probably watched about 15 different tutorials on how to draw dog fur. And as the old artist saying goes, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't hard, it was just very, very, very time consuming. Like, I listened to a whole entire Joe Rogan podcast from like the very start to the very end. And unlike me, those things are not short. So for those of you who want to know how to do uh, dog fur, speaking of dog, my dog is like literally barking in the background. Izzy, please shut up. <laughs> She's cute until she starts barking. Literally, she barks in every single video and I have to edit it out. But this time, I'm just going to let it in. Just like leave it in there since this whole video is about dogs. As I was saying before, I was a... Um, <clears throat> rudely interrupted. Dog fur isn't that hard to draw. I'm literally just like scratching the paper with black and white um, and then just kind of like lightly smearing it so it's not that heavy. And I'm pretty happy with what I got. I mean the perspective is a little weird but I mean for the first time you know actually drawing dog hair in like a serious portrait I think it came out pretty good. And I'm one of those really cheesy dog owners and I'm totally gonna show this to her and record her reaction. Yay! You like your art piece? I would say it's pretty successful. She at least sniffed it and kind of liked it. So <laughs> I think we got our job here done. Oh, Bowie, you're so awkward. My dog is so awkward. Why are you so awkward? It's okay, just relax. Anyway, guys, uh, I want to film a video soon where I do art with my dogs. Like, for example, they have like paw print art where you can like make different crafts with your dogs. And I would more than love to do a video where my dogs actually make the art instead of me. Let me know if you guys want to see something like that. Anyway, guys, so pretty much every few weeks on my Patreon, I'm doing like a little podcast thing. And we basically just talk about like story times and we have our thoughts on like different topics. And I understand if you guys like aren't on Patreon. Um, um, so, my second channel, I release bits of the podcast in like little clips. And yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much again for watching. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you next video. Bye!